hard fought game. Both teams, I thought, really competed at a high level. Uh, both teams defended well. Just came down down the stretch of making plays. Uh, we had a couple of costly uh, technical fouls, uh, but just down making plays down the stretch of the game. All right, we'll take your questions for either of the student athletes. If you'll raise your hand, and we'll get a floor mic to you. Hands up. Let's start right on the middle aisle. Go ahead. Charnell, you guys have played number one Florida really close the last last two games. Even though you didn't win today, do you feel like you made a statement in terms of the NCAA tournament to come? Um, I feel like the statement has, um, was already made before coming into this game. Um, I really wanted this win. I felt we were right there. Just didn't make plays down the stretch like we um, usually do. Other questions for either of the student athletes? If you'll raise your hand and we get a floor mic to you, just go to the right side. Yeah, for both players, can you just talk about the, the last four minutes of the game and all the monitors and all the controversial calls that were going on? Jarnell, would you take that first? Um, no, I don't. I don't want to complain. You know, I feel like Florida they made some big plays. You know, they they have a, a great team. You know, they're number one in the country. So. Um, you know, some calls I didn't like, but, you know, it's, it's part of it. You know, I'm just a player, and I let the referees do their job. And, um, you know, they, they play well down the stretch, hit big free throws. Same for Jordan. Um, I mean, just the same thing Jarnell said. Um, they hit free throws at the end, and they they made plays. And, um, that's pretty much it in the, in the last four minutes. Any other questions for either of the student athletes? You raise your hand. And we get a floor mic to you. Hands up. Any other questions for either? Okay, far right. Uh, Jordan, you all scored 14 points in the second half. The uh, What made their defense so good, or, or was it that you all were just uh, not executing what you were supposed to be doing? No, um, I think we had some shots that we normally make. Um, t- tonight they didn't fall, but um, I, don't, I don't think they did anything different than they did in the first half. Other questions for either of the student athletes? Raise your hand. All right, we'll excuse you, fellas. You can return to the locker room. And we'll continue on with questions for Coach Martin. If you raise your hand, uh, we'll get a floor mic to you. Hands up. Okay, we'll start on the right side. Uh, yeah, Coach, can you just talk about what, first of all, what you were told about Maimon? And then uh, the, the flagrant foul, obviously, and then, of course, the other time they went, had to look at the monitor for the elbow. I uh, wasn't really told anything about Maimon. Um, they called a technical foul. I watched his, his body language. He didn't use any curse words, uh, swear, whatever you want to call it. He didn't do any of that. Um, he was more or less saying uh, maybe his tone and maybe his approach and his body language uh, caused him to get the tech, but, but, I, but I watched his lips closely, so it wasn't anything derogatory that was said. Other questions for Coach Martin, if you raise your hand, and we'll get a floor mic to you. Hands up. Let's go to the middle aisle. Conzo, I know you wanted to win the tournament, but do you take something positive out of this from the fact that you played the best team in the country right down to the wire for a second time? Yes, I mean, they're a very talented team, and I think the blueprint for our guys, and, and, and they're, they're really one of the reasons our defense has really improved, because we talk about defending at a high level all the time, playing hard, competing. Um, they have a group of guys that understand their roles. They want to be successful as a team, and, and in my opinion, they're the best defensive team in the country. And I've seen a lot of teams and watched teams from afar, but they're probably the best in the country because they, they close the gaps. Their bigs do a great job defending. They're physical. They, they play without fouling. Uh, they pressure you. Uh, but, yeah, I mean, our guys, we, we felt like we came into the game ready to win the game, just came up short. And, you know, the two best defensive teams in the league, and um, they made the plays down the stretch. And we talked about it before the game, the team that makes the plays down the stretch. And, unfortunately for us, some costly technical fouls uh, probably shifted the game. <clears throat> Hands up. Other questions for Coach Martin? Raise your hand. All right, let's go to the back left. How fluid is Florida's ball movement on offense? It seems like that ball never really sticks with one player or the other, especially with Wilbegin. 
they do a good job moving the ball, uh, keeping us spacing. Um, and obviously it starts with Wilbekin. Uh, he's, he's probably, in my opinion, I, I'd take him over any point guard in America outside of my own, uh, but just does a great job of running his team, directing traffic. But he does it on both ends of the floor. And I think they're, they're a selfless team from the standpoint. Everybody gets involved. Uh, you have a shot, take, take advantage of the opportunity. And when you have that, you have a chance to be very successful. Another question for Coach Martin. It's back to the middle aisle. Conzo, you guys held uh, Frazier without a basket until, I guess, about 14 minutes of the second half. What do you credit that to? Really just defending at the level you defend that. Uh, but, but you're talking about a talented team, two teams that can score the ball, so it's hard to stop one guy. Um, you have to be really locked in because they have so many moving parts. They have a point guard that can play. They have guys that can shoot the ball. They have bigs that can score around the rim. They have guys that slash to the basket. So. Your defense have to be really locked in, but just really give the credit to Joel McCray, really challenge him, accepting that challenge, closing out aggressively on every time he catches the ball and forcing him to make plays off the dribble. Another question for Coach. Raise your hand. Let's go to the back left. Coach Martin, Florida now 20-0 in conference, uh, if you include this tournament. Does that mark speak anything to you, and, and what does it say? Well, just a very talented team. Uh, I think that's what it says. Um, they're playing well, and they're the best team in the country. But they're playing well as a team. I think that's the biggest key. Uh, and just it's just on to the next game, really. Far right question. Go ahead. Conzo, as a, as a coach uh, of a team playing Florida, I'm guessing you're sitting over there thinking we need to make a shot here. But as a, as a as a student of basketball and a, and a basketball professional. When you look at a team like Florida's that held your team like yours to one basket over the final 12 minutes today, do you think that's that's about as good as you can do? Oh, yeah. And, and I'm a defensive guy. I love defense. Um, so I applaud the way they really defend. Um, and I, I thought our guys have done a great job of stepping up and defending as well. Because uh, you look at the final score, 56-49, two, two very talented teams, two teams that defend well. Uh, and then, again, made the plays down the stretch to win the ball game. And I think, you know, some, some costly technical fouls shifted it down the stretch. Hands up. Any other questions for Coach Martin? Raise your hand. 